The city of Charleston now hoping to speed up the process of creating more affordable housing for the community. That comes after Charleston City Council adopted a new policy back in January. Emily Johnson is joining us now and shares more about what the policy is and how the city is working to use it to help those who live there. And Emily's city officials met today to talk about this plan. So what's the next step? Well, and today was the first of many meetings that the Charleston Department of Planning and Preservation and Sustainability plan on having to share with the community and the public how they're planning on addressing affordable housing problems in our growing city. The department's research by 2030, there would need to be approximately 16,000 affordable units at varying levels of affordability to eliminate affordability gaps. The affordable housing priority status policy was adopted to cut down the times for the review and approval process and to provide as many incentives and benefits to affordable housing developers as the city can. A senior partner with the department says funding for affordable housing would obviously help but higher wages would close the affordability gap. So one of the reasons why we're in this process to begin with is the rent and sale prices have outpaced significantly wage increases locally and then we see racial disparities in that as well. So it was impacting black population much worse than white population. Um, but uh, so that's, that's another side to this too. The city and department plans on having many more meetings to address the affordability housing problem and finding solutions that do not sacrifice the beauty of the city. Reporting live in Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.